my health challenges happened. Um, I was diagnosed with some um, health challenges and then I met Chris. I met Chris because of those health challenges. Um, my friend sent me a friend suggestion for him. It was actually his cousin's wife and um, I deleted it. I was like, I am not interested. I don't want to meet a guy. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> so I deleted her friend suggestion for him. I was diagnosed uh, two months later and I went through one of the, I would say, darkest times of my life because things just got scarier, um, worse. Um, I thought my life was crumbling underneath me and I didn't know uh, which way to turn. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends at the time because a lot of my friends, um, the friends I did have I lost because they didn't understand that I looked perfectly fine and I felt perf uh, horribly inside, um, horribly. I felt um, a lot of discomforts, a lot of aches, a lot of um, bad moods. Um, I met a lot of friends online and in the part where I gave up on everything, I quit my job. It was kind of temporarily, but kind of quit my job uh, of nine years. I just said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm, you, didn't, you don't understand me. You don't understand what's going on in my life. And I quit. And I got a friend, suggestion, friend request from Chris. <laughs> I was in a really, really, really bad place. And I got a friend, friend request from Chris on Facebook. And I was like, Oh, what the heck I'm never gonna meet him except well, one thing led to another and eight years later we have two kids we live in Colorado and he's the best thing that has ever happened to me and because of my health challenges because I got so sick I let him in and he only knew me at that time he knew me at my worst and he accepted me and you know, through um, your vows, like through sickness and everything, he's been there. He was the one that let me lay on him and fall asleep for three and a half hours on his lap while he had to pee. Um, he is the best thing that has ever, ever happened to me. Um, I'm telling you, when I met Chris, I pushed him away. I gave every excuse for him to run. I mean, every. I gave him an out every single day. I gave him an out. And if you guys know my story with Chris, you know I gave him an out. I mean, he went to my colonoscopy. I tortured him. I rejected him. I, I pushed him away time and time and time again. But when I canceled dates last minute, because that's how life is with my health challenges. You cancel things last minute and it's hard for people to get. It's hard for me to understand. But he stuck around and he stuck around because he was the one for me. And he is amazing. And I can't tell you how wonderful he is.